Hey all, it's Patea Legion here. I hope you're all keeping very, very well. We are going to go over the new game, Home Sweet Home, and give you guys my honest thoughts on the game, as I'm a very experienced Dead by Daylight player. Do remember, though, that this game is still in the development stages, and it's got a lot of work still cut out for it, and it's not a complete game yet. Once it is, it will then have a chance to potentially compete with games such as Dead by Daylight, for example. If you have no idea what this game is about, let me quickly break it down for you. Just like Dead by Daylight, there are four survivors and one killer. The killer's objective is to kill all four survivors before they can complete their objective. The objective in the game is to cleanse all rituals. Once all rituals are completed, survivors can either leave through portals or they can actually kill the killer. Rituals aren't something you can just run up to and complete. You need to find items to start the rituals in order to complete them making it so survivors have to travel across the map to complete their objective, which gives the killer plenty of time to defend the objective. Each killer in the game has their own unique powers to stop the survivors, and survivors can gain access to traps and weapons of their own to stun the killer. Survivors also have access to doors, holes, and vents they can use to escape the killer. Similar to pallets and window vaults in Dead by Daylight, the killer can break everything beforehand if they want to, minus the vents, of course. If a survivor dies, their soul is dropped on the floor, and another survivor must pick it up, take it to a statue, and revive that survivor. Two deaths, and you are out. There is also a perk system and leveling up system, where the more you play, the more stronger perks you can get, in order to have a better chance of winning the trials. Survivors in the game also have a much better interaction with each other, and can communicate easily, and mark down objectives so other survivors know where to go. And yes, there are a billion bugs in the game, but far less for a beta game than a full release of a game we shall not mention. <coughs> Overall, the concept is the same, but survivors in this game have way more interaction with the killer and can actually kill the killer, unlike in Dead by Daylight where the killer is an unstoppable force. So, the big question is, is this a competitor for Dead by Daylight? And honestly, my opinion is yes. This game has huge potential, and if they iron out some of the balancing issues which I'm about to go through, then they have a very fun and interesting game with loads of future potential. The killer designs are great, and the two maps that we're playing on so far are actually beautifully designed. The game doesn't even murder my PC, unlike Dead by Daylight where it's constantly overheating and I'm having some FPS issues. And yes, I do have a BC PC, but Dead by Daylight is the only game that kills it. You can earn everything in the game just by playing it. If you want things quicker, like different killers or cosmetics, then you have to purchase them with the in-game currency, which are these gems that you can purchase. If you enjoy Dead by Daylight and are looking for a new, fresh alternative to play solo or with your friends, then I would 100% give this game a go. But still remember, this is in the beta stages and it's not the full released version yet. So let's talk about a few tweaks I would personally make. I didn't play Survivor due to the queue times. I will make a separate video on Survivor gameplay on a later date. I played the Spectre, which is a killer by default that you unlock. Her ability is to teleport to a Survivor regardless of where they are. And her second ability is to go invisible really, really fast. And you have aura reading abilities while you're in this state. It allows you to find Survivors really, really quickly. First thing I would change is when survivors go into a vent, there should be a window to hit them before they do it. A lot of good survivors would wait until I was within hit range. They would then start the animation to go into the vent, which would make them invincible, and I couldn't do anything to stop them. This is really, really frustrating, as because they would be really patient, literally wait until I was literally touching them, and then they would start the animation, and I couldn't do anything. There wasn't much counterplay other than me using the teleport ability, which has a really, really long cooldown, unlike the vent, which has a really small cooldown. The animation for the speed of the camera flash on the character Yuri is way too fast, and I could barely react. They could keep using it, I think, every 20 seconds, and every time they used it, they would yeet on out of there, and I couldn't find them because the blind was so long. I know I'm still very new to the game, and maybe my reactions are just terrible, but every time I tried to practice reacting to it, I just couldn't. I just think it's way too fast and it punishes new players way too much. I was bullied by a gang of Yuri's very, very easily. Survivor's movement speed is a bit too flexible. They can easily spin around, making it hard to hit them sometimes. 
The 360 in this game is really, really fast and fluid. There's no punishment for spinning around too much. It's just insanely quick. And if you're new to the game, you're going to find it very, very hard to actually swing and hit survivors. And if you're having problems on Dead by Daylight with not being able to deal with 360-ing, I promise you this is about 100 times worse. The Swamp map is really, really overpowered. Every time I went against a good team, I got absolutely bullied here. There's too many god loops, god drops. There's two vents next to each other that can easily be looped safely, and there's not much counterplay. Even if you teleport as a spectre, they still manage to get away from you very, very easily. There is no real punishment for them dropping down on these god loops. There needs to be something that the killer can do to counter it. Maybe they drop down as well and they are slowed down and the survivor can still get away, but at least you can still persist in chase. Every time they drop down on a god drop, which is just them dropping down, they would easily get away from me. I actually found myself losing the swamp map way more than the hospital map. The red stain or the red line that you see when you're in chase needs to be a little bit more visible. I found myself losing it a bit too often just because of how lightly coloured it is. I think it just needs to be a little bit more darker because the survivors are very, very quick at sprinting away. Survivors should not be able to 99 rituals. Basically, good teams will 99 a ritual. They'll grab all of the items. They will lie them all down on the floor. And then when it's time to beat your ass, they will beat your ass. They will complete all of the rituals. They will start grabbing all of the items, start smacking you around and literally beat you to death. And it happened to me several, several times. And it's something that should be tweaked. I don't think they should be able to 99 rituals. And the end game collapse is super broken if you're trying to get a 4k. Once you've killed that third survivor, the portals immediately open. And if someone is healthy and opening a door, you literally cannot stop them no matter how hard you try. It takes about four or five hits to actually down and kill a survivor. But by the time you've done that, they've already yeeted through that portal. And you think you can slug the third survivor and potentially kill the fourth. It's not like that, unfortunately. There's no sluggy mechanic. You either kill them or you leave them to continue running around causing drama for you. I'm sure there's a way of constantly getting 4Ks, but I sort of play this game like how I play Dead by Daylight. I just kill the third survivor and have a standoff for the hatch slash door on the fourth survivor. There's no real counterplay on this game, unfortunately. You probably need to get them both injured and on the last hit, and then you can go get them, which is a lot of work. So there just needs to be some tweaks in terms of the end game. These are the few things I noticed while playing and I'm sure I'll think of more while I'm streaming and you do have to remember that I am still very new to the game so my opinions could just be because I really suck at the game and the better I get all of these problems may just go away just because I get better but for a new player that's trying to play the game these problems are very very obvious and very very frustrating to go against. And I really did feel powerless the second I went against a semi-decent survivor who was only a few levels higher than myself. And I did get to a point actually where I was getting consistent 2-3 to three kills but it was a lot of work to actually get to that stage. But the second I went against a 4-man team that was like level 50, I got absolutely annihilated and I couldn't do anything. They even teabagged me which is sad, I don't want to see this mechanic brought from Dead by Daylight but yes, I was teabagged on this game as well. <laughs> Which is actually funny to see. This game was actually a lot of fun and every game I played I was 100% focused and really enjoying myself. And I even said to the chat throughout the game, it's literally only been an hour of stream time. But for me it felt like I was playing for like 2-3 to three hours. I was having so much fun and time was even flying by. I really enjoyed myself. And it may just be because this is a new experience. But I do like the whole mechanic of killers and survivors being able to interact with each other. And all the trap mechanics and the chasing the music, everything. It's its really, really nice, and I really enjoy the game so far. Let me know what you guys think about the game, if you played it with a comment below, or let me know if you're going to give it a try, and let me know if I've inspired you to play it, and make sure you catch me on stream playing the game. I will leave a link to my Twitch in the description, as always. Click on that and hit the follow button so you can catch me when I am live. What I'm going to do now is go into a gameplay where I actually did successfully get a 4k and it was my only 4k throughout the entire stream. So I hope you enjoy this full gameplay and you can see what I am talking about. Guys, enjoy the content. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Okay, same map again. Let's go. Let's break some shit. The rituals are downstairs here, so they're more likely to be down here, right? Let's break uh, this here.
I want to break this door. There's a vent here. Yeah. I think anything with a vent needs to be fucking broken, dude. I'm getting familiar with the map now. I want to get someone injured before my power gets going. Did I just see someone? Yes, I did. She ran out of stamina in like five seconds. It's all good. Thank you for leading me here. That's annoying as fuck, but hey ho. Hey. That's why I saved my teleport, dude. It's like she's throwing down all of the pallets already, basically. Fuck it, did you go? Huh? <laughs> this girl is good at being sneaky, honey boo. Go Spectre, go! Zoom. <laughs> One thing I'm gonna start doing is paying attention to doorways. What did I just hear? Oh, she's in the that. Come on, dude. Ah, fuck me. Can every killer do spectre mode? <laughs> Come on, we'll commit to someone. Fucking hell. Get wrecked. <laughs> nice try, bitch. Hey, chicken, I miss you too, buddy. How are you doing?
I saw that. The cobweb trap. Bitch. Not reviving her at all. You think you're gonna be able to revive her? No fucking way. There's two people dead. She injured herself falling, so one more hit I think on her. Five more seconds. Oh man, yeah, she missed it. Yeah, but you're gonna die instead. <laughs> Fucking Nora! Gotta stop missing. <laughs> you have a salad now? Hell yeah, dude. I've broken so many fucking doors, I swear. Every time someone drops down, I'm just gonna go after someone else. Let's see someone who's injured, bro. There's no cooldown on her anymore. What am I missing? Ugh. Damn it, dude. I can just wait till that thing's up. There you go. Nice. Finally got you, fucking hell. Let's go defend my rituals now. Okay, not here. Get up there. Let's go. If they fall down, I can instantly teleport. It's all good. Come on, go. You run out of stamina eventually. Take a hit, bro. You can take like 10 hits. Come on, got you. Oh, right, instantly teleport. Fuck it. quite easily. I want to stop her doing the ritual. Not let her revive her. That must have really hurt. You're dead. Good night, Jess, my lovely. Yeah, bad time you dropped it.
God, survivor movement is so annoying. Got you, finally. Good night, my lovely. Take care, yeah? The other girl couldn't get revived. We killed her, too. Let's run away, boy. Coming for that ass. <laughs> yeah, she crawled in the hole. What the fuck? I don't like that. I don't like the fact that you can drop down into a vent. That, to me, is a bit overpowered. That's bad map design. The day's been good, mate. How about yourself? Yeah, you're gonna set it up, not me. Where the hell did he go? How the fuck? Oh, that was sneaky. Fuck. No, oh, she went in here. Why did you vent? I literally lost you. Vent again. I feel like the swinging is a bit jagged. But yeah, my day's been very good, thanks, Arsenal. You can tell how injured this girl is based off her tank top. It's hilarious. Her tank top just magically cleans itself when she heals. You're dead, okay. Go, 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 go. My first 4K? Yes! I got a 4K! I got a 4K! I actually got a 4K! Yes! Hell yeah! We done it, boys. We done it. We actually got a 4K. <laughs> nice indeed. Mwah. GG. I wonder if we done it. Congrats. Thank you. That's mad. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked. Hell yeah.